What's cracking, y'all? This is Jay from Will's VG Addiction here with another insomnia repair attempt here. So, today, well, really yesterday, last night, uh, I got a Pokemon Yellow for the Game Boy in the mail off of eBay. I think I paid like eight bucks shipped for this thing. It is uh, listed as non working. It looks authentic to me. I don't see any issues with the uh, with the shell or the label. So I tried it out. I have not opened this yet. We're going to open it up in a minute. So we're going to take a look at it. We're going to see what it does first. And then we're going to go ahead and start the troubleshoot. So it'll start up. We're going to see the startup. Nope. Maybe it won't. It'll seem to start up normal. And go to a white screen. And do nothing else. So let's pop this bad boy open and see what's going on on the inside. So it's good to know that this is authentic. Let's take a look at this bad boy underneath the microscope and see if there's any broken traces or anything like that. All right, y'all, so we got it underneath the microscope. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at the pin side first and see if we notice any anomalies. And the first thing that I will say that I see, let's see if we can't zoom in a little bit more. Well, what do we see right there? Some sort to do some pointing. Right in this area, right here, a little bit of corrosion. I don't think that'll actually break the trace or anything, so I'm gonna grab some, um, some alcohol and a Q-tip and just kind of clean that up and see how it looks. Actually, let's get the other side as well, just to make sure. And I did clean this thing initially before trying it out, so. It certainly wasn't dirty. Now, as we look at it, I'm gonna go over those traces with the multimeter and just make sure it's making contact. I don't know, it doesn't look too bad to me, but there certainly is corrosion right in this area here right here right here and right here which might be part of the issue uh, there's a little bit actually on it's a little discolored in this area too but not nearly as bad there's some corrosion here as well that doesn't look good actually that looks kind of broken Now, I wouldn't recommend that you start scraping right away. I just do that because I'm an idiot and I don't care. Let's test that real quick. That's good. That's good. That's good. I don't know where that one goes. So I'm gonna get this chip. That's good. Traces seem fine. Let me zoom out a little 
All right, so it seems like the battery is still good. The voltage tests 3.2 volts. So I'm kind of at a loss at the moment. I'm gonna take that battery out just to see if that has any sort of effects on this thing not working. So I don't know, it's a weird one. I don't see any other issues that might cause this thing to be not working. If this doesn't work, and we're doing this from an idiot's point of view, so just keep that in mind. Um, this doesn't work. I'm just going to uh, just gonna put some hot air on the chips and make sure everything's connected like it should be. Like I said, idiot's point of view. I am no expert. Just gonna try stuff. And if that doesn't work, I have a couple of Japanese copies of Pokemon Yellow. We'll take the ROM chip and put it onto that board and see if that works. And if it does, then we can fault find further and find out what the actual issue with this board is. All right, battery's out. We're gonna test it inside the Game Boy one more time and just kind of see if anything different happens. Nope, exact same thing. So I'm gonna again. I'm gonna be an idiot. And sometimes what I do find happens on some of these old carts is there will be some weak solder joints maybe you can't really uh can't really see it and it doesn't test for continuity so i'm going to heat this up just a little bit put some flux on it and i'm going to reheat all the chips and just make sure everything is making a good connection and then we're going to go ahead and start swapping shit over And this is a luxury that not everybody's going to have as far as like swapping chips over because I was in Japan for a couple of years and I hoarded like a motherfucker and got a whole bunch of extra games and whatnot that I can use for, you know, I sell and use for repairs and all this other stuff. So, you know, Pokemon games were generally in the junk pile or the junk bins down there. So dollar a piece, not complaining. And I bought a bunch of them. With the intention to resell, but I just haven't gotten around to it. I don't really know if anybody would be interested in Japanese Pokemon games or not, since it's all in Japanese. But I do have them, so it's an option for me. Let's go underneath the microscope real quick. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go over each section or each chip a little bit with some hot air and just kind of reflow all the, uh, the joints. And what I could do really or what I should do probably is uh, just go over everything with some fresh solder and a uh, soldering iron but I'm not going to do that because uh, again I'm an idiot so I'll take the lazy way out but at the same time it's also not really and you're like you lost enough. There we go. It's starting to melt just a little bit.
my freaking pad is starting to bubble up. That's nice. So much for being uh, temperature resistant. I'm gonna assume that that was something that came off of uh, something that I was messing with. I don't know, that's weird. I don't recall seeing that there before, but okay. So now I'm gonna clean this off with some alcohol. Just let it cool off for a little bit, real quick, just a little bit. And then douse it with the alcohol and Try it out, see what happens. Will that have made a difference? What do you think? I highly doubt it. But it would be funny if it did. I actually got a Bucky O'Hare for the NES years back from somebody for five bucks because the uh, picture was scrambled as shit and I was able to convince them to sell it to me for cheap. Went home and basically just did that. Re, uh, reheated all the chips and it was good to go. So, and those people became lifelong friends after that. <laughs> this is very funny. Anyway. Let's try it out now. What do you think? Is it gonna work? Well, I'll be damned. There you go. I don't know why I say it. I doubted it because it's kind of common sense, I guess. As a logical step as far as like troubleshooting and whatnot, so. I guess just a, uh, a loose joint so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this thing cool off for a little bit and just see make sure that it's not like anything internal with the chip um, I can't imagine it would be it's probably just like a loose connection somewhere whatever so if there's any other issues I'll come back and revisit this I'll, I'll start recording again and we'll do some more troubleshooting but I think we're good to go it's pretty simple pretty straightforward I don't know hope this helps somebody Again, I mean, I'm, like I said, I'm not like a, an expert or a genius or anything like that, but it's just one of the natural troubleshooting steps that I go through. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but in this case, it seems to have worked. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will catch you all on the flip side. Peace. So I've given it a few minutes and I started the game, saved, and we're going to see what happens real quick player's name is Kofifi and it sees that I have something saved on there so we'll hit continue Kofifi is saved so this cart is good to go that will wrap up this video thanks for watching